Yo, what's good people? It's your boy the Kryptonian saying bringing you a review for One Piece chapter 143 and just a quick update on the cover story. So after Jongo takes off his glasses and the one before this chapter, he's dancing and it says he's about to be caught, right? <clears throat> and in this chapter, he's just it's just living it up, man. Living it up, dancing around and it looks like it's some type of 70s thing going on just from the get up he's got on. But that's usually how it happens, man. Like when people get caught slipping, it's usually because they aren't paying attention to their surroundings or and this fits into it, you know, you just so caught up in whatever it is you're doing that you don't pay attention to what's going on around you. So I like how a little bit of real world logic's being slipped into this, but this chapter so the flashbacks continue and this really confirms it for me so chopper is the one joining the crew because we got flashbacks with usopp we got flashbacks with zoro we got flashbacks with nami we got flashbacks with sanji it's gonna be chopper it's gonna be chopper so this is gonna be this is this is gonna be nice man it's gonna be nice and the thing with Chopper, the reason why I think that he and Luffy are kind of really going to get along is Chopper has guts, man. Chopper has guts and spades. You know, after he hears uh, the witch doctor tell the quack doctor, hey, man, you know, uh, you only have a few days left to live. And she gives him the time and the date that he's going to die. But she says, if I treat you, then I can fool your body for three weeks. And I'm guessing during that three week time period is when Chopper learns how to be a doctor. So that's says a lot about his intelligence, you know, because a lot of people spend countless years studying medicine. I mean, like with my ex, like she it wasn't medicine, but it was nutrition. And like she did the undergraduate thing, health, health sciences and and then turn around and had to do the master's program. So with her, that was six years just to learn the food part of it. Making good money now, but that's neither here nor there because when you look at these characters, they don't do it for the money. They do it for, or at least the quack doctor, you know, which doctor's like, you can't afford this shit. And I like that. I, I like how they're, they're polar opposites. And the thing that she tells him is like your idea to make these cherry blossoms in a frozen island is not going to happen. And the fact that if I'm not mistaken, we haven't seen it, that means that he didn't succeed. But it goes back to what I said about Chopper, right? And the reason why I kind of wove it together like that is because... I feel like Chopper inherited, or not inherited, but his drive got amplified from being around the Quack Doctor. And it's so when you see this scene, it makes it so much worth it. Where Chopper, he's bleeding, he's bloodied up, broken almost, no, he's barely standing. And it's because of the reindeer that he tried to kind of join in with it looks like it's because one i'm guessing the alpha in the group and he's got this scar above his head you know he's like oh you're not one of us and they butt heads and chopper doesn't back down and then once he gets away that's when he sees the mushroom and he's like how do i get across and they followed him and you can tell he went through hell in order to get that mushroom but he knows that that mushroom is what the doctor needs and that was, like I said, that just says a lot about his guts, his determination, his uh, desire to help his friends and or his Namaka. And that's, oh my God, that is, that's going to work. That's going to work. Like him and Luffy, it's going to work. And he's stubborn enough where I really feel like if Chopper joins the crew, he's probably going to be, he's probably going to be the one person on the crew that doesn't get on Nami's nerves. Because... Usopp, the lion, gets two of the cowardice. You know, her and Zoro, they're like brother and sister, doesn't work. Luffy, she cares about Luffy, that's why she's so fucking hard on him. So, I really, I really think Chopper is going to be the one that, you know, doesn't really get on Nami's nerves. But the other thing on this chapter, the flashbacks that really worked, and I like how the flashbacks are put in here, 
and they're sequential and what I mean by sequential is you know one after another but it works you know I personally prefer when flashbacks are non-linear and I think I've explained this in the past non-linear being you know like where you're jumping back and forth from present and past I like that or not flashbacks from storytelling I like non-linear storytelling but with this I like how Dalton is saying all this just uh, uh why stoop so low to catch a quack and it says a lot about Dalton's character because he walks a fine line between morality and doing what's right and doing what is expected of him and right here Wapple says, no one asked you your opinion, Dalton. This is a matter of governance. He's a doctor. not a He's not a doctor. He's a criminal. He must be called and executed. Now carry out your command of the king. Of course, and that's when, you know, we see right here, we see the quack doctor and Chopper, you know, he's just holding them. And it just makes... It just makes the stakes raise even higher because he says, of course you can, Ch Dr. Uh, Chopper. You've got the most important qualification, a big heart. And that's just touching because you know this what's getting ready to happen. You know Dalton or somebody is going to come for him. And since he's not in the story now, you know he doesn't make it. And just that scene right there with them embracing, it's really nice. You know, Otis doing a good job on pulling the heartstrings. This is... Probably in terms of ranking, I would put this a little above uh, Queena and uh, Usopp's mom dying, but below uh, Sanji and uh, Zeph and Bell and uh, Nami and Shanks and Luffy, right? I put it, you know, below those. So this was still nice, though, and it's a common thread that I'm seeing with each of these members who joins the crew. There was somebody at some point who sacrificed something for all of them. And that that was that was huge to me. You know, I know you're like, well, what what got sacrificed to Usopp, right? And I think for me, I think it's the fact that his mother allowed him to kind of tell these lies and stuff. You know, like Usopp was trying to do it in order to uh spur his mom on right like oh dad's gonna be coming back dad's coming back dad the pirates are coming pirates are coming she knows damn well but to tell him the tell him the truth for I me mean, my tell him the truth is to basically in an aggressive way say look you dumbass he's not coming back right and to be frank with him she didn't do it she allowed him to do that because it allows him to be a child it allows him to stay into his uh into his childhood, okay? And as somebody who, you know, had a portion of the childhood taken away, I can appreciate it. And also, it's the same thing with the villagers at Serb Island, you know, with them, or Serb Village, you know, with them, they let Usopp continue to tell all those lies and, you know, get everybody worked up into a frenzy because even at his age, they didn't want to crush that childlike spirit in him. And so that's a, that's a sacrifice in itself. And I really, I really like this, but I like how Dalton's being portrayed too because, like I said, he was just, to me, he was just like, dude, you're so fucking high and mighty. And so just to see how he's having to put up with all this, it's really, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful because we're seeing just little by little the situation unfold and we're watching how the distance between him and Wapple the king that he's supposed to be serving is just growing deeper not deeper wider so I like that man and I, I can personally relate to it because you know at my last place of employment you know I had to do some things that weren't you know legal weren't ethical and you know so for me I had to do it because I needed the money. I needed the money, and in the city I'm in, the job market is crazy. The job market is crazy, man. Like, I have to go outside my city in order to find employment. That's how crazy it is right now. And 
so I couldn't just you know burn down the bridge because I need it and it's the same thing with Dalton Dalton can't make his escape yet so this was this was key man this is key I'm really I'm really pulling for the quack doctor but I know it's not gonna work out so my chapter question for you guys is gonna be this out of all the scenes in this chapter whether it be the two doctors talking and uh, or Chopper going through what he went through to get that mushroom or Dalton struggling with this morality. What touched you most and why? But overall, like I said, it's a pretty good chapter, guys. If you liked anything I had to say, hit that like button, comment, rate, subscribe, share. I'm going to greatly appreciate it. That's it. Thanks for watching.